Well, today's real estate market is becoming more and more complex. With the uh, added uh, responsibility of creating buyer contracts comes the added responsibility of making sure that you're being properly remunerated for your services. So in some cases you're asking uh, the buyers to pay and in some cases you're asking for the sellers to pay and in other cases you're asking for the sellers to pay more than what they're offering because what they're offering is less than what you'd like to receive. Well, in a case where you're asking a seller who you don't represent to pay more money, you're going to want to link that information or link that contract to the purchase contract. And that can be done by way of condition or it can be done by way of term. But most importantly, it has to be backed up with a buyer brokerage contract, which you would have created with your buyer, and permission, obviously, from your buyer to link it to your contract. The advantage to your buyer is the buyer wants the seller to pay you the entire commission so he doesn't have to, and it's quite reasonable to ask for that. So just remember, link the commission agreement with a non-represented seller, and that means the seller you're not representing, in the offer to purchase with your buyer, <clears throat> your buyer's permission. Once again, make our team your team. No, I won't fill your mind.